these fired up Tiger Cats are quite a story. A couple of weeks ago, written off by practically everybody in the country. And here they are, 60 minutes away from a shot and a berth in the Grey Cup. Let's go back over to the Argonaut bench and Bill Stevenson. Well, Al, as you pointed out, we're looking forward to quite a game. There is no greater rivalry in the CFL than this one between the Hamilton Tiger Cats just a few minutes down the road and the Toronto Argonauts. And both of the fans, the Cats and the Argo fans, are here, and they are ready. I'll be reporting, of course, from the Argo bench, and in a moment we will be back with Pat Marson and Lee Pedersen. <laughs> I'm Pat Marsden along with Lee Pedersen. There are two things that could be factors in this football game this afternoon. One is the wind. Lee Pedersen, tell us about the other. Well, Pat, the situation is this. Dieter Brock has been in the Hamilton Hospital since Friday morning with back spasm. He just came over to Toronto and joined the team last night. Hasn't practiced in two days, so the status on his, his health at this point is really not known. I talked to Ray Jones, the trainer, before the game. He said Dieter will not be 100%. He didn't look too bad, though, in the warm-up. Well, there's no question about it that this is the biggest game of the year for both these teams. They're both ready. They both feel they can score a lot of points, and we're going to find out. The man in charge today is John Ireland. It should be a dandy. Take it away, Pat. Thank you, Al. Well, we are certainly looking forward to this one. The Argos, 12-4 and four on the season. Best record in the Canadian Football League. Tie Cats won only five. But here they are. If they win it today, they go to the Grey Cup. With the wind at his back, Alyssa puts it deep in the end zone, and Howard Fields, on the opening play of the ball game, will concede the single point. Well, we mentioned that the wind was definitely going to be a factor. It was at Alyssa's back, and you saw that he booted that one some 80 yards. Well, that wind is really strong, Pat, and the tie catch is a long way to go here in this first quarter. I can't believe they expected that win, but let's have a look at Dieter Brock. Of course, we talked in the opening about those back spasms. They're a funny thing. They may not bother him at all today, or they could come back at any moment. The outstanding rookie in the Eastern Conference, Johnny Shepard, is in that backfield as well. Hamilton starts from their 35-yard line, first down. Give it to Shepard. And he picks his way to the 40 for a pickup of five. Bubba Wilson was one of those there, along with Rick Moore, 58 and 76. Hamilton expected to run the ball much more than Toronto because, as Bobo Bilovich said, we have lived by the pass all season long. We're not going to change now. Well, you saw that all-Canadian offensive line. They've taken a lot of criticism this year, but, you know, they haven't done a bad job in the last few games giving Dieter Brock protection. Rock's first pass complete to Keith Baker. He will step out at the 50-yard line with the first first down of the ball game. Well, Dieter didn't zing it out there by any means, but he got the ball to Baker, and he was able to make the reception. Well, really, throwing into that heavy wind, it'll take that tight spiral off the football, and I thought he did a pretty good job getting it out. That was to the wide side of the field, so obviously so far in the first quarter, he's not feeling the effects of those back spasms. Pat and Leaf, you were talking about the wind, which is a factor. Joe Barnes just came over and asked me what the future is as far as the weather is concerned. Well, it is that it's going to gust to 35 uh, miles an hour, which is even much greater than it is now, before the end of the game with heavy rain. So Joe says if that happens, the Argos will be changing some of their offense, he feels. Thank you, Bill. It is second and two, Hamilton. The give us to the fullback, Dragic Nola, and he gets good yardage to about the 46-yard line. 